Have you ever seen the apocalypse in the eyes of a human? Malnourished zombies pacing the streets with no purpose. Brittle skin disintegrating, crumbling their smiles off of their faces. About a year ago, I stood broken on the dirt roads of port au -Prince. The wind, minting my speech into microscopic particles that still got stuck down my throat. I was silent, an outsider in my homeland that couldn't relate to his people. I saw black holes. Consuming the sky, attacking mothers who balance their children's survival like tectonic plates on top of blues craniums, there were no lights. Just candles desperately gleaming in the atmosphere. Clouds foaming like creation, blocking the radiance of the sun while the circuits blew out, no water. Just a cesspool of corpses pumping through the wells near the shack shaped like Nagasaki bombs, no food. Just starving abdomens rumbling on the streets loud enough to awake the spirits like voodoo rituals. A parade of grim reapers slashing away on the inside of these citizens. Crusades held in the dimple of their belly buttons. They are blind when blackouts have what I lose. You pocket cool, you pocket cool. Blackouts make these Haitians black out. It's difficult to walk down your block when there aren't any street lights. So dark that you can see the stars frowning at the moon, crying wolf to Jupiter, but planets never speak back to third world countries. They are thirsty, taking showers in buckets using soap like sand. And paper scratching at their dry flesh The arid motherland of Haiti has had a craving To be refreshed for far too long So much that they drink cups of their own tears To quench their thirst They are starving How do you tell a woman who hasn't eaten in five days That she is gorgeous As she reaches out empty hands like her belly And the only alternative she has is devouring hope Silent Weak because she's too busy raising the next generation of hungry. The five second rule doesn't count when your country has fallen to the ground. When I looked hard enough, I saw her pupils adjusting to the darkness, so black was illuminating. There was no electricity, but on some days, the hot potato of the sky mashed its way through the clouds so its light can never make out session with brown skins. That love made her fight thirst, picking cotton out of her mouth, using it to make clothes for her children. I ripped out the drums in my ear and gave it to this hurting woman screaming at a local street market and told her, Shelly, see who today, if you listen hard enough, that isn't your stomach growling, but carnival compa and soccer songs go through your rib cage. I looked back into the windows of her soul and I saw tropical blessings. So, sat by sand, so, my boule, so, sugar cane, so, to sat, lower tall, picking the locks from her ankles and wrists, casting lightning bolts to this thunderous voice, screaming, We don't need these shackles anymore. Those eyes, two Haitian flags on fire, burning but bright so we can see the truth. There is always light at the other end of the tunnel. Always beauty in the ugly we see. I.T. Shiri, you are the motherland of freedom. You are Caribbean metaphor dancing in my blood. And no matter what they say, earthquakes can't shake us.